Midjourney releases a new update and a new feature, and this is going to be so beneficial and helpful for a lot of people. It's true. That's because with this new update, you're going to be able to create consistent images, generate consistent characters with one established prompt. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. And today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this with the new tune command. Everything and all the prompts I'm sharing with you guys today, I'll have a link in my description so you can test and try this all for yourself. I'll go ahead and link to this page right here and all you have to do is just scroll down and then open up some of these drop boxes and then copy and paste them so here's the first one we're gonna start with I'm gonna come down here to the bottom and nothing changes you're gonna do everything the same except for this time when you hit that slash button now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and choose tune now this tune command is what we're gonna be using going forward to save each style of prompt and image that was generated instead of doing imagine the first time let's go ahead and then do tune and I'm gonna go ahead and then paste this prompt in right here now here is one I actually made the other day and so if you haven't watched this video go ahead and check this out real quick it's gonna show you how to make all these animated characters based off of this prompt right here here we go a cute adorable baby and then I put Deadpool so what you can do after we generate this prompt we'll be able to utilize this same exact style for many subjects and characters across the board so check this out so now let's just go ahead and then simply hit enter so the next you'll see is this pop-up right here on your screen and it's simply gonna ask you and clarify, do you wish to create this style tuner? But the first thing I do is I just go ahead and then change up my style directions to 16. That's gonna allow us to use less credits. I have 16 style directions chosen. I think that's gonna be plenty. And then the other thing is I can leave it on default mode, but then you can also open it up. So if you have anything as far as style raw, you wanna make sure that it's reflected and then style raw is selected as well. We'll do that in a second. But first, let's go ahead and then just leave it default. Once you can clarify, just go ahead and then hit submit and then you can see it's going to say are you sure cost is 0.15 fast hours gpu credits just go ahead and say yes i'm sure and then it's going to be submitting right here and then for completion it's going to take about two minutes to generate what we're about to do next and it will actually notify you up in the right hand corner of your notifications and so i'll show you exactly how to get that too okay so notice on your screen right here for me at least it's going to be stuck on this submitting button and so you might be here waiting all day just waiting for the notification to see your images so so if that's the case, just go up here into the top right hand corner and then select your inbox and then go over here to unreads. OK, and then that's where you can find your images. It will say right here, style tuner ready. Once that's ready, you'll notice there's going to be a link right here. Go ahead and then click that link. What this link is going to do is now it's going to open up a series of quadrants and images for you to choose from. Like I said, we chose 16 variations to choose from. If you would have chose 32, you would have gotten even more, double in that case. But I feel like this is going to be more than enough. So now what you want to do is then scroll through each and every one of these variations. Now check this out. We're going to get a lot of different characteristics. Some look way better than others. But nonetheless, what you're going to simply do next is going to be the most important part. You're going to select one Sort of style that you want to use continuously moving forward so in my case on your screen right here you can see two of the ones i made yesterday so i want something similar to emulate these two right here and then moving forward i can continue with the same sort of image so i had the first one highlighted as soon as i make my selection now look down here at the bottom it's automatically going to give me my prompt but then the most important part is over here on the right hand side the bottom right hand side you could see that now i have a style and then a code to use moving forward that's going to be important because we're going to use that code moving forward to generate the same sort of image but with a different subject so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back to mid journey and remember i copied the very first one it gave me with that new style code so now this time i'm going to go ahead and now hit imagine the same thing that we always do we've already created this new tune so paste that prompt in that we just copied and then here we go do you see right here we have the style code now that means moving forward everything i select as the subject is going to contain the same sort of characteristic so right here we have a marvel character deadpool now let's just change this up let's just simply change it to wolverine and then that's all you have to do all we have to do now is just do the imagine command and go ahead and hit enter the next thing we'll do after we view these images is i'm going to show you guys a few really cool prompts that we can use okay so check this out check out the deadpool one that just made for us this one looks pretty cool i like all four of these actually and then now let's go up and then check out this wolverine one right here it's pretty cool now this next one is going to be one of my favorites really cool 
specifically for an eSports logo. So I'm going to do the same thing, and this time I'll do Tune again, and I'm going to go ahead and paste this prompt in. Now remember, I'll have all these prompts for you with the link in the description, but this time we're going to do an eSports neon logo, a line with headphones, flat illustration. Now, I actually got this prompt from this Twitter, I mean X handle that you see on your screen right here. So a big thank you to creating this prompt. Once we have this done, the same thing pops up. I'm gonna go ahead and then just select 16 again and then hit submit. Are you sure? Yes. Look at this right here, this is pretty cool. And if you like any of them, remember, just simply go ahead and then just select that square. I mean, we have this one right here that looks pretty cool. I like the way this is gonna be more of like a realistic style element. But then if I wanna go for just a eSports type logo, I'm gonna go with just this first quadrant right here and then select that. Once it's selected, look at the bottom. Now it gives me the prompt it used to generate this and my style at the very end. And now let's generate it. But not only that, now I'm going to do the same exact thing. Hit imagine prompt, paste it back in, and now change up a line with headphones to something completely different. And I'll put a gorilla with headphones and it's going to maintain the same style. Now with that said, let's go back to the style tuner because I want to show you something very important. So if you look at this screen right here, we're back over here and you can see I went ahead and selected the first one of the neon lion. Now, let's just say for an example, I like the one below it and I want to click this one right here. Notice that it still has this one above selected. That's going to definitely have a big effect on your style because if you just want the second one and no longer want the first one, you need to make sure that the first one's no longer selected. You can't just click on and off of it. What you need to do is just click back on this grayscale box in the middle. And now what we're going to do is also go ahead and now copy this one. So now we can change things up, but with the same exact prompt. Now this is what makes this new update so impressive because I can use the same exact prompt, but now this time, since I have a new style code, I'm going to get a completely different generated image with completely different sets of characteristics. So now we have that saved. Now let's go ahead and now hit imagine. We're gonna use the one we just made. Remember, it's gonna be the line that looks a little bit different. Go ahead and then generate that one. But now let's also do the same thing and do imagine again with the same prompt, but this time we're gonna change it up. Instead of a lion, we're gonna do a gorilla. Check out how awesome this is. Here's the first one we did. Same exact prompt, eSports, lion with headphones, amazing. So then remember, the next one we did was the same exact prompt, but this time I replaced lion with a gorilla with headphones. This is pretty impressive. Same exact thing, same style characteristics. Remember, the next thing we did was completely change things up. We chose a different image in that 16 quadrant grid, but now we got something completely different. Now we get these four images right here. And so this is gonna have more of a realistic eSports logo approach. Let's Let's see what it did for Gorilla now. Okay, so now check this one out. Boom, same thing. I replaced Lion with Gorilla, same style, and now I got this. This is pretty cool. So now moving on, now let's go and do some really good ones for Style Raw. So the first thing we'll do is I have a prompt that I have right here. And if I go to midjourney.com and I scroll through some of my recent images, I'll show you the next one we're gonna work on right here. We're gonna work on this one right here. It's simple, it's Style Raw, and it looks realistic. The thing that's good about this is that with the simple background, you could easily remove the background and make it a transparent or PNG file. And now instead of using default mode, we're now going to use raw mode. Now the other one I want to use, I want to scroll down here and I want to do something that's going to be similar to this DreamWorks Shrek one. So that way I can replace Shrek but maintain the same characteristics. Go ahead and then copy this whole entire prompt. Now we're going to go back over to mid-journey and I did get the notification that it's ready. So let me go to my unreads and let's go ahead and take a look at this most recent one for style tuner ready. And now here we go over here with that realistic one that we just made of the man wearing an Armani suit. And so as we scroll down, we could see all of the different results that we can choose from. All right, so now this one's ready. Let's check out the uh, the Shrek one, the DreamWorks one, and then come over here to some of these images right here. And like I said, you'll get some interesting looking images off of these. But again, you just want to choose the one that you like the best. Now let's go ahead and then try to generate something with that style. Okay, so the next one I did was I just did Lion with the same Shrek DreamWorks prompt, and then this is what I got right here. Now this next one I did is pretty cool too. It's gonna be an isometric one for a pirate cove. And so this is also gonna be a style raw. And so let's go ahead and then look at some of these right here. And so these did a pretty good job. And now this time, instead of a pirate cove, I'll do something different. We have one more to look at, and this one did a pretty good job as well too. And so this was used to create some 
Mario style characters. Let's go ahead and then go with this first one right here. And then I'll copy this prompt for Unreal Engine style Mario. So I have that prompt copied and we'll go ahead and then create something different down here as well. Paste that one in. But instead of doing Mario, let's do something different. And for this one, I'll go ahead and do Sonic the Hedgehog. So while that's waiting, let's look at our RPG isometric of a futuristic city. Now check this out. That's pretty cool right here too. So we went from the Pirate Cove to a futuristic city. I like this. And I did one more for the futuristic city, but while we're waiting, here is the Sonic the Hedgehog one. Now this one looks pretty cool. Now remember, I went from Mario to Sonic the Hedgehog, but it maintained and kept all of the same characteristics. Okay, so now our carnival ride is done. Now remember, I made the Pirate Cove, and then I did the futuristic city, but look at this right here. I changed it up, so we started with Pirate Cove, I did futuristic city, but this one's actually the best. This is going to be Carnival, an isometric RPG carnival. So now with the Nike shoe one, we're going to go ahead and then paste this tune in to say for a Nike shoe. I'm going to go ahead and then do 16 and now hit submit. So now we can generate these same sort of shoes, but instead of being Nike, we can make a different one. Let's just try Adidas or you can even do Reebok or any other brand that you want. And then while we're waiting on this last one, just a reminder, you can go to midjourney.com and everything that we're generating today, it will be displayed here in your my images. Let's go back over to midjourney and then check on our very last one that we made for style tuner and this is going to be the Nike shoe and we're going to try this but with something different this time and so again I'm going to go and scroll through all of these again I'll settle with this first one again I like the way the first one looks go ahead and copy it and now we'll go over it back to mid journey and then try it but with a different brand shoe now I'll paste in the prompt and I'll do an Adidas shoe an Adidas shoe futuristic look everything is maintaining the same and now let's see what this comes up with and it looks like our Adidas shoe is done and again it did a fantastic job so all I did was change up the the word Nike to Adidas, but now we have the same color scheme, the same characteristics. This looks incredible. And then I did one more just to see if it could do it with Reebok. And I got to tell you, very impressed with what this did with Reebok because the reason I'm so impressed is because it actually got the word right for Reebok. And so look at this one over here on the left hand side. This looks phenomenal. Same characteristics. Reebok has the little emblem, but then it actually has the wording correct and it's spelled the right way. So overall, I'm pretty impressed with this. Now, a lot of the prompts I tried, some worked better than others but nonetheless i think this is a great starting point but let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out but until then we'll see you next time